You ever wonder what's actually going on under the hood of your computer? Like we all use Windows or Mac every day, but most of us don't really think about what makes it all work. Well, that's where Linux comes in. And trust me, it's way cooler than you might think. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to break down what Linux is and why learning it can seriously level up your tech skills. I'll even walk you through how to get started without breaking anything on your current setup. So whether you're just curious or thinking about a career in tech, stick around, this is gonna be good. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump right in. What is Linux? Alright, let's start with the basics, folks. What exactly is Linux? Now I'm going to keep this super simple because there's no need to overcomplicate things. Linux is what we call an operating system, just like Windows or macOS. It's the software that manages your computer's hardware and lets you run other programs on top of it. But here's where Linux gets interesting, my friends. Unlike Windows, which is owned by Microsoft or macOS, which belongs to Apple, Linux is what we call open source. This means the source code is freely available for anyone to look at, modify and distribute. Think of it like a recipe that's shared with the whole world. And anyone can take that recipe, make their own version and share it back with everyone else. Now, because of this open nature, we don't just have one version of Linux. We have what are called distributions or distros for short. These are different flavors of it, each with their own special sauce. You've got Ubuntu, which is pretty beginner friendly, Fedora for those who want cutting edge features, CentOS for servers and literally hundreds of others. But don't worry about all of that right now, guys. We'll talk about which one you should start with later. The beautiful thing about Linux is that it's incredibly stable, secure and efficient. It can run on everything from tiny devices like Raspberry Pi computers to massive supercomputers. In fact, most of the world's supercomputers run on Linux. Pretty cool, right? Why do you need to learn Linux? Now, you might be wondering, why should I bother learning Linux when I'm perfectly happy with Windows or Mac? Well, folks, let me give you some compelling reasons that might just change your mind. First off, career opportunities. If you're looking to get into any tech field, Linux knowledge is going to set you apart from the crowd. System administrators, DevOps engineers, cybersecurity professionals, cloud architects, and even many software developers rely heavily on Linux. When you look at job postings in these fields, you'll see Linux mentioned over and over again. Companies are willing to pay premium salaries for people who really understand Linux systems. But it's not just about the money, my friends. Linux gives you control, real control over your computing experience. With Windows or Mac, you're limited to what the company decides you can do. With Linux, you can customize everything. Want to change how your desktop looks? No problem. Want to remove software you don't need? Easy. Want to understand exactly what your computer is doing? Linux makes that possible. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Here's another big one, guys, security and privacy. Linux systems are inherently more secure than their commercial counterparts. The open source nature means thousands of developers are constantly reviewing the code for vulnerabilities. Plus, this OS doesn't come with the kind of telemetry and data collection that you find in other operating systems. And let's talk about cost. Linux is completely free. Not just the operating system itself, but most of the software that runs on it. Need an office suite? LibreOffice has you covered. Want to edit videos? There are excellent free options. Need development tools? They're all there, ready to use, without spending a dime. Finally, and this is important, folks, learning Linux makes you a better computer user overall. It forces you to understand how computers actually work under the hood. This knowledge transfers to everything else you do with technology. But before we dive into the roadmap, folks, let me talk about something important, especially to those of you who are already working with Linux systems in production environments. You know, guys, as we are learning about Linux, it's important to understand that maintaining these systems in the real world comes with its own challenges. If you are using Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, you probably know it hit end of life in June 2024, which means no more free security updates. Red Hat does offer extended support, but it can get really pricey with the subscription costs and extra fees added on. Here's where Tuxcare comes in. They offer what they call endless lifecycle support for Rails 7, and it's designed specifically for situations like this. Instead of forcing you to upgrade your entire infrastructure right away, Tuxcare lets you keep your Rails 7 system secure and compliant for as long as you need them. What I really like about their solution is how precise they are. They don't just throw random patches at problems, they carefully build and test each one 
to keep your legacy systems secure and stable. They make sure you know exactly what's being patched, and they even help with compliance by giving you patch info that works with tools like OpenSCAP. Getting started with Stockscare is incredibly simple, guys. You just connect to their repository with a simple script, no reboot required, and you are protected with regular ongoing security patches. It's that straightforward. Now, I know not everyone watching this is dealing with enterprise rail environments, but for those of you who are, or those planning to work in enterprise environments, understanding these kinds of real-world challenges is super valuable. Managing legacy systems while maintaining security is a huge part of what Linux administrators deal with every day. If you're working with RHEL, it's definitely worth checking out. I have linked Taxcare down below, so take a look and see how it can help and keep your projects secure. Huge thanks to Taxcare for supporting my channel. And now, back to the video. How to learn Linux – a step-by-step -step roadmap Alright, my friends, this is where the rubber meets the road. Let's talk about how you are actually going to learn Linux. I've broken this down into a progression that's worked for thousands of people, including myself when I was starting out. Your first step is going to be choosing a beginner-friendly distribution. Now, there are tons of options out there. But for your first experience, I strongly recommend Ubuntu. It's got a great community, tons of documentation, and it's designed to be user-friendly. Ubuntu has a graphical interface that feels familiar if you're coming from Windows, but it also gives you access to the powerful command line when you're ready. Once you've picked Ubuntu, you need to get it installed. Now, don't worry, guys. You don't need to wipe your current operating system. You can start by creating what's called a virtual machine using software like VirtualBox, which is free. This lets you run Linux inside a window on your current computer. It's perfect for learning without any risk to your main system. After you've got Ubuntu up and running, spend some time just exploring the desktop environment, click around, open some programs, get familiar with the interface. This isn't different from what you did when you first used Windows or Mac. You're just getting comfortable with the new environment. Now comes the fun part, folks. The command line. I know, it looks scary at first. That black screen with the blinking cursor can be intimidating. But here's the thing. The command line is where Linux really shines. And once you get comfortable with it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Start with basic commands. Learn how to navigate directories, create and delete files, and move things around. Practice commands like LLs to list files, CD to change directories, make dir to create folders, and RM to remove files. Don't try to memorize everything at once, guys. Just practice a few commands until they become second nature, then add more to your toolkit. As you get more comfortable, start exploring system administration basics. Learn how to install software using package managers, understand file permissions, and get familiar with system logs. This is where you'll start to see the real power of Linux. The ability to control every aspect of your system. One thing I always tell people, my friends, is to break things. Seriously. Set up a virtual machine specifically for experimenting, and don't be afraid to mess things up. Try to fix problems when they occur. This hands-on troubleshooting experience is invaluable and will teach you more than any textbook ever could. Join the community early in your journey. The Linux community is incredibly welcoming and helpful. Forums like Reddit's Linux for Noobs, Ask Ubuntu, and the official Ubuntu forums are great places to ask questions and learn from others. Don't be shy about asking for help. Everyone started where you are now. Practice consistently. Even if it's just 15 to 20 minutes a day, regular practice is much more effective than cramming for hours once a week. Set up simple projects for yourself. Maybe host a small web server. Set up a file sharing system or automate some repetitive tasks with shell scripts. As you progress, start specializing based on your interests. If you're into web development, learn about web servers like Apache or Nginx. If cybersecurity interests you, explore tools like Wireshark or Nmap. If you want to get into system administration, dive deeper into user management, networking, and system monitoring. Don't forget about documentation, folks. Linux has some of the best documentation you'll find anywhere. Learn to use the man command to read manual pages for different commands and programs. These built-in docs are incredibly detailed and will answer most of your questions. Finally, consider working towards certifications. If you are serious about using Linux professionally, certifications like CompTIA Linux Plus, Red Hat Certified System Administrator, or Linux Professional Institute certifications can validate your skills and open doors in your career. Final thoughts. All right, so that's the basics of Linux and how you can get started without feeling overwhelmed. I know it might seem a little intimidating at first, but trust me, guys, once you start playing around with it, you'll see how fun and powerful it really is. Whether you're looking to boost your career, 
take control of your tech, or just learn something new, Linux is definitely worth a shot. If you've never tried it before, I really encourage you to download Ubuntu, set up a virtual machine, and just mess around with it. And hey, if you get stuck or have any questions, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear how your Linux journey is going, or help out if you're hitting any roadblocks. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.